Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I love doing DIY refashion old clothes into the new simply but pretty way. It's autumn now and I love layering in this season. So I make the overdrawn dress from the men's shirt and I'm so excited to share with you how I did it. Here is the men's shirt before the transformation. I love the color and the fabric of this shirt. It's so autumn. First step, I'm drawing the straight line at the top of the shirt, right under the button neck. Then I cut from the hem to that drawing line. So I will have the main part of the overall dress. After that, I unseal the front pocket of the original main shirt. At the border of the button area, I go to the left 16 cm and mark there. Then I do the same for the right. From the first mark, I go down 24 cm and mark the second one. Then from there, I go out 7 cm to mark the third one. So now I'm going to draw the art line from the first mark to the third one. From the third mark, I draw straight down to the end of the shirt. From the drawing line, I go out 5 cm each side. Then drawing the line from the third mark to the end. After that, I draw the line to connect two ends at two sides together. Then we will have the main part, the front and the back of the overall dress after cutting by the drawing line. Move to the back of the overall dress. From the border at each side, I go to inside 15 cm and mark there. Then I draw the line from there to the third mark, so it will look like a triangle at the top of the back. I'm overcasting the front and the back of the dress to protect the fabric in my cutting. At the top of the front, I fold the fabric inside to hide the cutting and use the pins to hold my folding. Remember, don't fold too much fabric to inside that could hide the buttonhole. Then I do the same as two sides of the hand part and sewing together.
Now I'm going to create the pockets for the thread by using the fabric from one hand. The way I did a drawing the trapezium with 30 cm high and 20 cm width. I'm also overcut the pockets after cutting to protect the fabric. Then I use the iron to help me keep the folding of the pocket. Determine the positions of the focus on the front of the thread later. From the end of the thread, I go up 5 cm, and from the border of the button area, I go to the left or right 3 cm. So the focus will be 5 cm higher than the end of the thread and 3 cm away from the button area. I use the pins to fix the pockets to the front of the thread, then sewing them together. Next step, I'm going to the back of the thread. I fold the fabric inside and use the bins to hold my folding before sewing, just like what I did to the front before. After sewing, I'm connecting the front and the back together. Then moving to the end of the thread, I fold the fabric inside to hide the cutting. Like what I did to the front and the back before, I use the bins to hold my folding, then sewing.
Next step, I'm making the bands for the overdraw dress by using the fabric from the hand part. The way I did in making 4 pieces of the fabric with the size is 7 cm high and about 30 cm width. Then I connect two pieces together at one end by sewing. After that, I fold the fabric together to make the band. As usual, I use the safety pin to upside the band after sewing. Then I iron it to keep it straight. Now I'm going to connect the bands to the thread. I'm connecting the bands to the top of the back first. Then I connect them to the front after. The notes I have here for you that don't put the pants straight up to the back. Keep them a bit inclined to the side of the back. So it will be easy to dig to the front of the thread. At the front of the thread, I'm making two buttonholes at two sides of the top. Then I hand sew them. After that, I'm installing the button to two pins because I make the bands a little longer than I need so the button are higher than the end of the bands. You can wear the thread to check where you can put the button to the bands before installing. And I'm finished this DIY. Let's check out the final transformation. This overdraw thread is just so cute and brings so much autumn vibe. It's very easy to make with the different shirt, so you can wear it for any season. It's also very comfortable to wear with two pockets at front. I like to make it with a small handbag and a boot for this season. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel to check out my other video. See you in my next one.